So once you arrive on the website, you can go to the prototype page and immediately start testing it. Just connect your controller to your computer and um, it will work. Just really make sure you have the latest version of Chrome or Firefox, um, else it might bug out. So maybe first a small demo to show you how it works. Um, this is how fast you can learn to write. So uh, that's the power of my keyboard. Now um, I will explain to you how it works. Um, maybe depending on if you have a um, PlayStation controller with this layout or an Xbox controller, um, you can change it in the settings here. For example, if I have a PlayStation layout, so I click on PlayStation. If I go back, um, yeah, it's just easier for me to know which button does what. Um, now, as you can see, the alphabet on my keyboard has been divided into eight groups. Um, this is ac actually exactly the same uh, same way as the old phones used to work. Remember where if you wanted to type a text message and to select a specific letter, you had to press um, a specific button a few times. Um, but there was an even more efficient way to type and that was with the T9 keyboard where you had to only type one letter one time and the dictionary behind it would go and choose the word that you meant. And this is exactly the same how my keyboard works and that's why it's actually called Jade, J8, Joystick 8. Um, one group of letters is actually selectable with the joystick. So, for example, um, I want to write the word moon. It consists of four letters which are all in this group. So what I will do is I press once, two, three, four, and the dictionary chose the word moon. But it also knows two other words, noon and mono, which can also be formed with these um, four letter groups. So what I can do if I actually meant to write noon is just go down and choose noon. So if um, I wanted to continue my phrase, I can just type space by pressing L1 or the left bumper and um, just continue typing. Uh, noon is the time of the day I like to take a nap. Oh, I accidentally wrote map because yes, map is also possible to form with M, A, B group um, as of all these other words which are displayed here but actually map is the one one I want so it's the one I take and the more you write map with the keyboard the more it will learn and actually propose it to you uh, more often uh, same thing with the punctuation marks here you can uh, type multiple exclamation marks for example um, Let's say you want to tell someone he's a real noob. So I want to say uh, noob. Oh, I want to say noob. N O O B. Oh, I see that apparently my dictionary doesn't know the word noob. It only knows the word uh, mona, which which can be formed with exactly the same letter groups. It's uh, this one three times and then this one one time. So what I can do is go in back into the settings and um, add the words that I want to add or you can even add phrases or whatever you want. Um, for example, you are a real noob. So when I go back to the prototype now, I press a space and I try it again. Now we can see it knows the word noob and mono. So I can choose between the two. Noob, noob, noob. Um, and in the keyboard, I also implemented some kind of um, prediction. What you, um, based on your previous words, what you might want to say. For example, uh, 
this small phrase I wrote here, you are a real noob, it's now saved into the dictionary and it will propose it when I write you and I press the circle key or the B key um, when the word is still selected, as you can see because of the underline, it will propose me um, R as the first one. And if I press it, if I release it, it types the word R. If I press it again, it proposes the next word, which is A. A real loop. That's how easy it is. If I want to write this in caps, I can just press the R1 key to write in all caps. You are a damn loop. Thanks for helping. Ah, also, just one last thing if it might interest you. Um, if you guys go to the settings, um, you can actually take any color you want for this. Um, so if you want a dark theme or a light theme or just some random colors, you can just go through them and uh, choose whatever you want and then it'll all work. I think it's pretty neat. Alright, thanks for watching guys.